What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all times. Tap through the side to everybody in between. Don't do basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with your us. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And thanks for all the recent donations. I appreciate it. Come on, buddy. Um, I received a channel message in. I did some promotions of Spiritual Advisor's videos today. Spiritual Advisor LLC, if anybody wants to check them out. Um, good readings. And I received a channeling in, um, so I'm going to deliver it. Okay, so the channel message I heard was someone was trying to make you homeless and to lose your home, but through many series of chain of events, it's about to happen to them. And some of these people, they shouldn't even have the home to begin with. I heard fraud. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's pretty crazy. Um, they're shysty and criminal anyways if they're not even supposed to have the home and fraud. Um, so whoever these people are and how they apply, I didn't hear signs or anything like that. You have to plug it into your own life situation, how it resonates. Um, but they were trying to make you homeless, trying to make you without a home, trying to make you homeless. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to happen to them. Um, whether they own, the, whether they are supposed to have this home and it's fraud free or it is fraud involved. How that resonates and applies, okay? If it, there's fraud and fraud involved, I feel like Rico crime energy possibly. I didn't hear Rico crime in here, at least not yet, but I intuitively feel that <clears throat> possibly for the frauder people. Um, if I mean, what the hell? I'm thinking they probably cosigned somebody's name on there, a frauded cosigner or something like that is what I'm presuming, but I didn't hear any of that. Let's pull some cards, cause, um, and then we'll see what's going on, okay? Okay, <clears throat> that one flew out very, 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 very fast and quick. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. messages you have about this. Um, I might do some sign readings tonight. Um, <clears throat> just to let y'all know, I went walking today. Um, it's only 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, so I might do some um, some sign readings tonight um, between my personals. So just to let everybody know, okay? Spirit messages you okay. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Spirit messages you have reflected. Ow. Okay. Someone new that recently came into your life. You met them in a very public space. They were hoping you would take the bait, but it's about to backfire on them. Someone that you recently met in a public space. <clears throat> so whoever this is and how this applies, if this message applies for you. It's someone that you recently met in a public space. So some kind of public space energy. Uh, that could be a public building, a public uh, green space, like a public park. It could be a park, parking lot. Some kind of public space energy. You have recently met them in a public space. I heard they were hoping you would take the bait. But I heard... Um, Apparently you didn't, because I heard it's about to backfire on them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for the collective. About to seriously backfire on them through other people. 
They thought they could manipulate you. <clears throat> About to seriously backfire through other people. They thought they could manipulate you. So it's somebody you recently met in a public space. They thought um, they were hoping you take the bait. So I think they were hoping they could manipulate you. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire on them through the form of other people. Um, they were trying to manipulate you, but I think they're about to get manipulated by other people or scammed by other people or used by other people or something. Um, somehow, them wanting to you to take the bait, i.e. manipulation of them onto you, projection of manipulation of you, of them onto you, is about to backfire on them in the form of other people. So I think other people are about to manipulate this person um, or scam this person or fraud this person or something negative um, to this person in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. And someone wanted you to lose your home. They want you to be homeless, lose your home, or lose your home. I mean, or what have you, what have you, but... For some of these people, it's about to happen to them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, we have bouquet, compliments from an admirer, rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters, February, younger woman, dealings of relationship with a younger woman. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. This person you met in a public space was trying to get in your pants and get in your home. But it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. This person you met in the... Okay, this person that you met in a public space is coming in very strong. This resonates for you. I heard this pub, person you met in a public space was trying to get in your pants and get in your home. But I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So I think they were giving you compliments. Maybe they were offering to buy you something or take you out or what have you, what have you. But they were trying to smooth you up verbally, basically trying to talk it up verbally um, so they could, uh, I heard so they could get in your pants in your home. So too much concern with sexual matters, they wanted to get in your pants sexually. They wanted to have sex with you, um, basically. Um, but they were doing it in the form of verbal manipulation, trying to smooth you up and, um, oh, let's go out for drinks. Oh, let's go out. Let's go, um, <clears throat> You're so beautiful, blase, blase, blase. You're so handsome, what have you, what have you. But the whole premise of that was to get into your pants and your home. Now, why they wanted in your home, uh, probably to steal something or place a hidden camera in there. How that resonates. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire on them in the form of other people. So I think somebody, they might, I think they might have sex with somebody and they give them an STD, is what I think. Or they have sex with somebody and they get them pregnant. Or they, um, or something, or they just meet a crazy karmic and uh, uh, they start having sex with them and they think they're their forever person and they start stalking them or some shit. Or they get a hidden camera placed in their space. Um, I didn't specifically hear hidden camera in here, but there's a reason they want it in your pants in your home. Um, just saying, just saying. And it's a person you recently met in a public space. Someone else is getting a huge wake up call. Masculine energy, someone else is getting a huge wake-up call, masculine energy. So masculine, you're getting a huge wake-up call um, if this resonates for you. Um, you're getting a huge wake-up call maybe about the situation, maybe this happened to you. You know, it could be man or woman um, or uh, what have you, what have you. This has already happened. This has already happened um, in the public space, in the universe. Already meeting this person in the public space and what have you, what have you. Um you plug it in how it resonates, but upcoming, this person that you met in the public space, whether you're a man or woman, it didn't work on you. 
the verbal manipulation and smoothing or what have you, what have you, didn't work on you. They didn't get in your pants or your home, I'm presuming. Um, and whoever you are, I think you're the same one that somebody wanted to make homeless. Um, and I'm serious about that. But um, but it's about to happen to them. It's about to happen to them. Um, so I think maybe they're going to be made homeless or they're going to get an STD or they're going to get someone pregnant or they're going to run into a crazy karmic um, that's going to like make their life miserable. Maybe it's a younger woman. They're about to like a crazy karmic younger woman, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. This is yikes. February. February of 2022 is very significant in this for some. And February of 2021. February of 2022 and February of 2021 is very significant in this for some, some people. So you have to plug the message or messages in how they resonate. Okay, so February 2022, March, April, May, June, July, August, that's six months ago. So February 2022 was six months ago, if that resonates for you. February 2021 was a year and a half ago. So February 2022, six months ago was significant for some of you guys or somebody you're connected to. And February 2021, which was a year and a half ago, was significant to some of you guys or somebody you're connected to. Maybe it's this uh, person you met in the public space, possibly, or someone trying to make you homeless. Um, I'm thinking they were trying to make you homeless by blocking your money. And trust me, if anybody knows that, it's me, queen of wrongful terminations four times in her city. If anybody knows that, it is me. Uh, and that's the truth. But I feel it's happening to some of you other guys, too. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? But February of 2020. Uh, two for some of you guys was so six months ago and February 2021 for some of you guys a year and a half ago. You plug it in how it resonates. Younger woman, dealing with a relationship with younger woman. A feminine teenager is about to become very significant in investigator's life in a positive way, helping, helping her. For some, her and her brother. Okay, a feminine teenager, I heard, is about to become very significant in investigator's life. Uh, for some, I feel you could be the investigator. Or somebody connected to this investigator, you plug the mess. This is like a mismatch of messages. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but for some, you could be the investigator. For some, you could be any other um, somebody connected to the investigator. Obviously, I think you're a light side investigator. I don't think you're um, a karmic investigator, a dirty investigator. I don't think you're that CPS worker trying to convince a 14-year-old to be a prostitute that I posted on here. I don't think you're like that. But how that resonates, I heard you're an investigator. I feel your light side. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. And um, I heard a feminine teenager is about to become a very positive, significant part of your life. For some of you guys, for some, it's a femme teenager and her brother. Um, I heard you're about to help them out of a, her or them, out of a toxic situation. So in this aspect, this is the um, teenager, femme teenager, or the femme teenager and her brother. 
you plug it in how it resonates they're in some kind of toxic situation in some shape form or fashion it could be to do with um with sex is what i'm feeling uh, for some it could be a pedophile ring i didn't hear that specifically in here but i've been pulling in a lot of pedophile ring and energy in here and it would make sense in some of these situations for some it, does, some it doesn't have to be a pedophile ring but you plug it in how it resonates but we have the too much concern with sexual matters so i do feel pedophile ring or sex trafficking or forced into prostitution or something how that resonates um or exploitation um or something of that nature with this femme teenager and in, in some cases the femme teenager and her brother possibly you plug it in how it resonates i think she's um i think um I, yeah we've got this connected with this with the femme teenager I think some of these STEM teenagers are in um, child pedophile rings that they're not aware of. They're being abused and exploited. And you, investigator, are about to help get them out. And for some, it's a femme teenager and her brother. I mean, it's all over the cards and the messages in here. That's what I'm taking my intuitive take on this. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some, you could have been knowing about this since February. and You've been investigating it since February, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, you guys, okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A cancer is about to be so publicly embarrassed. So publicly embarrassed. They're about to tell on themselves and tell on the situation. A cancer is about to be so publicly embarrassed, so publicly embarrassed, they're about to tell on themselves and tell on the situation. So, uh, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, so some kind of cancerian energy. It can be masculine or can be cancer. They can have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, charts. Whoever this cancer is, they're about to be very publicly embarrassed. So, heavy public energy in here. You plug it in, how it resonates. I heard they're about to be so publicly embarrassed that um, they're about to tell on themselves and tell on the situation, and it's about to benefit you, whoever you are, if this message applies for you. Uh, I feel it could have to do with teenage, teenage, a teenage femme or teenage femme and her brother or something to do with sexual matters, um, how that resonates and applies, or anything else, okay? But some kind of cancerian energy, mask or femme, heavy public embarrassment. It sounds like upcoming, coming soon. It's about to come quick. I heard it's about to come quick. It's about to come quick. So the public embarrassment is about to come quick for this cancer. And they're about to tell on themselves and other people. It is about to piss a Libra off in a huge way. But it's about to happen. I heard it's about to piss a Libra off in a huge way. Very cold Libra. Older Libra Feminine. Very cold Libra Feminine. Older Libra Femme. So it's about to piss a very cold older Libra Feminine off. But um, I heard it's going to happen whether the cold, old, cold older Libra Feminine wants it to happen or not. Um, whoever this cancer is and how they resonate. Okay. And someone's about to find out their daughter is pregnant. Younger adult daughter. It's about to shock them and upset them. Oh my God. And someone's, uh, okay, so this could be for you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's about to find out their, uh, I heard adult, younger daughter. So I'm feeling like, night night of something something energy like 25 or below is what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates i heard old adult younger daughter so if this resonates for you sir ma'am it's your daughter's not a minor they're not a teenager in this aspect it is an adult daughter um some reason you're going to be upset that she's pregnant maybe she sleeps around maybe she has one night stands maybe she does hit it or quit it maybe she does sneaky links or situationships or maybe the daddy is um 
not reliable and dependent. Um, how that resonates, but maybe she likes attention. We have compliments from admirer. Maybe I'm thinking she likes to sleep around and she loves attention and um, she's about to get pregnant. And I don't feel it's going to be a stable, grounded, dependable, reliable pregnancy here. And that's why it's going to piss you off. Uh, but she is an adult. She is 18 or 18 plus. Um, I feel in probably 25 or below, but you plug it in how it resonates. And I heard basically um, it's about to piss you off. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, it could be your biological daughter or adopted daughter. But I feel in a lot of these situations, it is a biological daughter. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, how that resonates and applies for whoever that's for. Okay, um, let me see if I hear anything else. And through many series, shocking series of chain events, someone's about to get estates and money and wheel they should have gotten a long time ago. It's about to afford them financial flexibility to pay off their home and move away. And that's what they're going to do. Okay, so there you go. And uh, through many shocking series of time events, someone is about to um, get, I heard, money and property and estate basically that was owed to them in a wheel um, that they should have gotten a long time ago, but they have never gotten it. But um, they're about to get it soon. And um, uh, they basically, um, it's going to afford them financial flexibility and freedom. I heard to pay off their home and to move away um from their current location which is beautiful um that's exactly what i want to do i want to renovate my home rent it out and move away now when i'm able to do that i have no idea but i understand that message is what i'm trying to say because that's what i'm trying to do it's going to take me a lot longer because i don't pull in like now i'm not working at a hospital at the hospital or anywhere right now out in the 3d it's just doing this right now full time I don't pull in near the income I was pulling in when I was working at the hospital. So um, it's going to take me a little longer, but whoever that's for, that's really beautiful. I heard you should have had it a long time ago. Um, so I, I'm feeling toxic family has been holding it back from you. Um, there's a reason it's been held back from you. Um, and it's been for out of spite and maliciousness and greed and, um, and crimes, obviously, crimes. People are going to end up in jail over this. People are going to end up in jail over this. People are going to end up in jail over this is what I heard. Yeah, I mean, that's criminal. You can't do that. There's an unlocking and unveiling of a wheel for reasons, if anybody needs to hear that. Um, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, they have these things set up in place for reasons. They have laws set up in place for reasons. Um... And whoever these people are, they have no regard for the law. They have no regard for it, and they love to break the rules. And basically, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Well, it should. It should. I heard you should have got it a long time ago. It's a lot of money and a, a large property or properties, which will probably bring you in rental income. Um, or you can sell it and get the money. How that resonates. But... Congratulations to whoever that's for. Let's pull energy and then I'll close it. Experiments to this year collective. Someone is about to be so, 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 so wealthy, but they should have had it a long time ago. 
someone is about to be so, so, so wealthy, but they should have had it a long time ago. So uh, I feel trust fund baby, uh, trust fund baby energy um, is what I'm feeling. Uh, for some, you could be a younger woman, possibly, um, or you could act younger. Um, I'm feeling femme energy here. Or you could be masculine, taking on femme. Um, I didn't hear if you're a man or a woman. I just kind of intuitively feel that, but you plug it in how it resonates. But there was obviously jeal there was obviously jealousy there. Jealousy, strategic, jealous, manipulative mover maneuvers to keep this money, this estate, all this financial backing away from you for strategic reasons. Uh, out of spite, maliciousness, coldness, and jealousy, obviously. Um, but I heard it's about to be held by, uh, it's about to come, come, and people are about to go to jail. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, they shouldn't have done what they did. And that's just the truth. All right, we have woman holding a heart in action. Number 44 or 17 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 44 or 17, you could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or age of you, you, you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 44 or 17, woman holding a heart action. I just want to say real quick, they were obviously holding this money back strategically from you and this estate and property and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, back from you. <clears throat> for um, manipulative, cold reasons. They wanted to keep you stuck uh, financially. So you probably bind it to them. Uh, definite binding spell energy here. Definite. It is about to backfire in a huge way. Definite um, binding spell energy here. It's about to backfire in a huge way. Yeah. Okay, so we have a um, woman holding a heart, action, the world, blossoming of abundance, happy family, and angel of balance. Number 44, 17, 29, 3, 4, 48 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Okay, so um, let me see if I hear anything. Someone's about to take great action to make these cycles change quickly for you. They realized they were wrong in the past, and they really were. Someone's about to take great action um, to make these cycles change fast for you. I heard they're about to, um, they realized they were wrong in the past, and I heard they were. Or they're realizing they were, they were wrong in the past, and I heard they were. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a femme energy about to do this because we have woman holding a heart um, about to take this great action um, to make these cycles change quickly for you. I feel it's a femme energy in a lot of these cases for a lot of you guys. For some, it can be masculine in their femme, their feels and emotions because they realize they were wrong, but you plug it in how it resonates. But whether it's a man in their feels and emotions about this um, or a woman, they're about to take action, making cycles change for you in a positive way. And it's financial. It's all over the place in here. Financial, you're going to get your blossom of abundance, your wheel, your property, your assets, your money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You should have had all along, I heard. Um, it's going to create a happy family life in your life, whether you are uh, live by yourself with pet or pets like me. Or you just live by yourself, or you have um, visitation rights like I do, or full custody if you have children, or you have um, half and half custodial rights, um, or you are just single to Franklin. How that resonates, it's going to create a lot of balance for some. You could be dealing with a Sag or have Sag in your chart. Um, if you are, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you're in financial constraints right now, but you're about to get your cornucopia. Yeah. That's beautiful. So number 11 or 13 could be very significant numbers as well. Number 11 or 13. Um, yeah, you're in financial constraints right now. Somebody has strategically been holding money back from you, strategically. Um, but you're about to get your cornucopia, your blessings, your financial abundance. I heard you're going to be able to um, pay, <clears throat> pay off your current home. So you are um, currently have a home with a mortgage or homes with a mortgage. But you're going to be able to pay off the existing home and move away. So you're going to have plenty of money to basically fulfill your dreams, your destiny, and uh, move on. 
wherever you're, whoever you are, and if this message applies for you, obviously, I feel you want to move away. I feel you want to move away. You just haven't, I don't, but you haven't done it because I don't think you wanted to put yourself in financial constraints is what I feel. Um, but you are in financial constraints right now. Your money could have been blocked or, um, or you could have got wrongfully terminated or, or you're just not bringing in the kind of wealth that apparently has been held back from you. How that resonates and applies in one's life, okay? All right, we're done. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Namaste.